Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to talk about early college with Southern Connecticut State University. Uh, my name is Charlotte Oakes, and I am the program coordinator of tuition break for the New England Board of Higher Education, and I'm here to welcome you to another educational session. I am delighted to be welcoming Sir Snowden, the Assistant Director of Admissions at Southern Connecticut State University. Sir is also the Early College and High School Outreach Co Coordinator. Tonight, uh, he will be leading us in a presentation on what early college is and why it might be beneficial for you. You will also learn a little bit more about Southern's early college program in particular, and I will be available to answer any questions you might have about tuition break. You are welcome and encouraged to use the Q&A function throughout the presentation to submit any questions that may come up. And towards the end of our session tonight, we will be answering all of your questions. Uh, with that, I'll hand it over to you, sir. All right, perfect. Well, I just want to say uh, good evening and thank you all for joining us this evening uh, and to be able to talk about FARS Early College and try to, like I said, to go to give you guys some more information about FARS our program, uh, Early College in general, and just try to, like I said, help you guys kind of navigate this this uh, this opportunity to be able to like I said, get some college credits while you guys still are in high school. Um, so I do have a brief presentation that I will go through with you guys this evening. Uh, and, and, and as I started to mention to you guys earlier, you guys have any questions about anything or concerns about anything, definitely feel free to ask those questions, drop those questions in the chat. Uh, and we'll definitely answer those, as I said, as we, um, I said, once we are, like I said, open up for questions and things of that sort. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually share my screen with you guys um, so you guys can be able to see my PowerPoint with you guys. And then we can go from there. Just give me one moment. All right. Share. And I believe I am sharing now. So, um, so this, like I said, my name is Sir Snowden. I am actually the associate director for uh, admissions here at Southern Connecticut State University with, um, like I said, overseeing our early college program, as well as our high school, uh, high school coordinated outreach um, opportunity that we have here. So um, definitely a great opportunity for us. Like I said, we definitely appreciate this opportunity to be able to speak with you guys this evening about far as early college and like I said, uh, in Southern in general and be able to help you guys kind of navigate this landscape. Uh, I will be possibly later on uh, joined by my colleague, Enclave, uh, in regards to far as, like I said, um, he'll be able to talk with you guys more in depth about far as um, the, our opportunity that we have for our instructors and, and how he be able to help our instructors uh, from the early college landscape. All right. So in regards to our overview in terms of far as Southern, um, based on our last year, as far as our enrollment here, we have a little over 8,000 students currently enrolled, well, a little less than 9,000 students currently enrolled, as you guys can see there, 8,889 students currently enrolled here right now at Southern. Uh, through our partnership with NEBI, um, we have about 7% about of our students are coming through as far as our partnership. This is that something that, like I said, we are happy about as well. We're looking to possibly, like I said, grow as well. And then in terms of far as some of the percentages from, in terms of far as about 20% of our students currently right now um, are bringing in some early college credit uh, to, to Southern, which is like I said, something that we are actively in, in pursuing to actually be able to grow and, 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 uh, and be able to move forward. So we have actually have a lot of different things in place to be able to kind of set, be able to grow these percentages and numbers as well. And then some of our most popular majors that we have here, our nursing program, our business program, our psychology program, social work, computer science, and education. But here at Southern, we actually have over 240 different programs that students can be able to major into, um, as well as be able to take classes through our early college program that we have there, as well as we have some great accelerated pathway programs that we have here at Southern that we encourage our students to take advantage of that, especially those students that are already having in mind as far as the middle going out to like graduate school. So ranging from like psych programs, we're getting to um, like sorry, computer science program, education, uh, exercise science, things of that sort. So there's a variety of far different opportunities for our students that are thinking about far as going out to graduate school to be able to take full advantage of that, like I said, through our accelerated pathway programs with our four plus one, be able to get your bachelor's and master's degree within five years, which is a phenomenal opportunity that we have available for our students. All right. So in regards to far as early college, what is early college? How do you define it? Um, so these are some of the bullet points that we actually came up in regards to far as defining far as what early college actually consists of. Uh, so as so early college is known as far as a dual enrollment program. So I know some people try to get an idea as far as what a dual enrollment is, what's early college, are they different? Um, they're very kind of interchangeable. Some some programs use dual enrollment, some programs use the early college far as term, but they're very interchangeable. 
Um, so basically, give you guys an opportunity to be able to gain college credit. Uh, like I said, be able to gain college credit while you're like I said, you're still in high school. Um, you you establish far as a college transcript. Well, like I said, while you're still in high school, uh, and then those transcripts can be sent to any prospective colleges or university of your choosing. So, um, like I said, if you're taking courses, say. Some early college courses here at Southern, those courses are transferable to say um, some other institutions. You just gonna be able to be, be mindful in regards as far as their transfer policy in terms of far as transferring credits in. Uh, but definitely our credits are possible, like I said, can be transferred to as far as other institutions, as well as like I said, um, like I said, we receive those credits as well. So just say that you're going to a, a, a nearby local community college or university or things of that sort. Like I said, we do accept those credits as well. So that's definitely a great opportunity for students to be able to take advantage of that. Um, and then also, so universities most likely to accept these credits. So like a comparable to like AP classes. So if you're taking like your AP exams, like I said, we do receive far as provide college credit for stu to students for those particular opportunities. So like I said, so it's very comparable to far like I said, the AP exam uh, as, a, as well as like I said, the early college to build, like I said, both of those programs and both of the opportunities can help give you guys an opportunity to actually receive college credit. All right. So in regards to far as early college here at Southern, this program actually is uh, dedicated to help you guys be able to earn up to about 30 college credits, which in essence is about a one year of savings of college tuition here at Southern. So students who have the range be able to be able to save about over, over a course of about $20,000 over the course of their, like I said, the four year program here at Southern. Like I said, you'd be able to actually uh, complete your first year of college. Uh, which is a phenomenal opportunity for students to be able to take full advantage of and like I said, be able to go into school and only having probably about like almost about three years left of your program if you're only pursuing as far as a bachelor's degree. And if you're looking to do like one of our accelerated programs, you'll be able to complete your, like I said, that master's and bachelor's degree within about four years or so. Um, and all these credits goes towards, like I said, your, like I said, your 120 credits that you have here at, at, at Southern. So it's definitely a phenomenal opportunity for you guys to be able to, like I said, earn college credit while you're still in high school that will go towards your degree uh, and be able so like I said, save you guys so, uh, a lot of money, all right? And then also in terms of far as some of the benefits uh, that goes along with far as being an early college student, you can be able to, like I said, demonstrate that you can handle college level work. Um, so being college ready, being college prepared, uh, you'll be able to meet with prospective far as faculty members that can actually be paired. So we actually have over 400 full-time faculty members here at Southern that are eager to be able to work with you guys and help you guys, like I said, understand as far as your curriculum, understand as far as like your opportunities that you have here available at the university, and then also the industry that you're looking to go into. So they definitely want to be able to be, like I said, be a helping hand in regards to that, whether it's a, let, a reference, letter of recommendation, uh, and try to help you guys point and navigate as far as this, this new world and this new landscape that you guys are in as far as going to college, being at college, okay? And then most importantly, meeting new, new, uh, meet new perspective peers. Uh, classmates. Uh, we have small class sizes here at Southern, so there's typically no more than 20, 25 students in a class. Uh, so give you guys an actually a really strong opportunity to actually have like some engaging conversations, meet new people, uh, have these different, um, like I said, different perspectives on far as different views on far as the topics that you guys are covering in class. So this gave you guys an opportunity to, to kind of like I said, uncover those things. And then um, I was actually, well, I was actually did a presentation the other day, I uh, was talking to some high school students and one of the students actually was taking one of our courses at far as at Southern right now. And she shared with me, she said, she is treated as if she's just a regular college student. No one knows that she's actually a high school student taking classes in, in college, which is a definitely great opportunity for her to be like I said, she's not being judged. She's not looked at being looked at any differently. So it's a definitely, uh, like I said, a great opportunity for our students to be able to be embedded as far as that college life and that college lifestyle and understand far as what it is to be a college student. Okay, as well as being able to, like I said, take class and explore your far as your major and to get an understanding for what your major will consist of. So a lot of times students go to school with a with a major in mind, and then once they actually start these classes, they they they're still unsure for what that major actually will consist of and for what classes they have to take. So definitely gives students a great opportunity to be able to really kind of explore that major and get a full understanding for what that major consists of and what opportunities are available after, like I said, during the program. Okay, as well as being able to be kind of complete, like complete some of your general ed courses that you have to complete here at Southern. So with Southern here, we have 100, 120 credits. You have your general ed classes that you have to complete, as well as your major requirements and things of that sort. So this gives you guys a great opportunity to be able to get some of those math classes done, English classes, some of your, like I said, uh, some of those uh, psych, psych programs, history classes, things of that sort, kind of like completed. So like I said, when you go to college, like I said, you kind of just keep hitting the ground running. And most importantly, 
and saving yourself, uh, yourself some money. Uh, money is definitely going to college is definitely, like I said, a, a financial uh, responsibility. Sometimes it's a burden on some people because you just don't know far as how you be able to pay for your education. So being able to actually be able to save yourself some money by taking some of these college courses while you're still in high school is definitely something that we definitely encourage students to be able to take full advantage of. And like I said, we're really eager to be able to help you guys understand far as what this landscape is, how to navigate it, and how to be able to take full advantage of it. All right. So in terms of some of our popular courses here at Southern, uh, with through our program here at Southern, our students actually have the ability to be able to take classes on campus here at Southern or actually in their high school. So as you guys can see here, we have like two different columns uh, with some of the classes for us like the listed here and some of the classes that are listed for us, like I said, at the high school, which is a phenomenal opportunity for our students. Like not every single student is able to come to our campus. So we actually been able to have the privilege to be able to actually work with some of our partner schools and be able to offer some of these classes, like I said, right there on campus, uh, like I said, in their classrooms and like I said, in the setting that some like I said, the students are familiar with, as well with the teacher that they are familiar with as well. So as you guys can see, you have communication classes, computer science classes, public health, psych classes, uh, sports management. Uh, so there's a variety of different opportunities for available for our students. Like I said, these are just some of our popular majors, but our students have a wide range of far as opportunities available for them in terms of far as what classes they can actually take, ranging from, like I said, some of our 100 level courses, possibly even some of our 200 level courses, depending on far as the prerequisite that they need for that particular course. All right. And then looking at some of far as the admission requirements for the early college program, just so you guys have an idea of far as what it is and what it entails in terms of far as applying to our university and going through far as that process. So um, our application for our early college program, there, we do have like certain terms in terms of far as whether it's a summer term or our winter term, I mean, or summer term or fall or spring term that we offer. There are certain like, uh, we do turn application on and off depending on far as the time of the year. Um, so, for example, our next session that we have coming up is our summer session. That application will become available on May 1st. Uh, like I said, you'll be able to go right on our website, fill out the application, submit that right now. If you do have an interest in our uh, in our program, there's a um, there's a form that you can actually be able to fill out and we'll be notified in regards to far as like I said when these uh, like I said uh, these deadlines and things will actually become available and whatnot. All right. Also, too, so you, you you complete your application, and then we also from from my end, we actually have to receive approval from your school official, whether your counselor or your your teacher. Um, like I said, in regards as far as you being eligible to be able to complete our program here at Southern, typically. Our students that are enrolled in our program are juniors and seniors. They have at least about a 3.0 GPA. And like I said, they have the approval of their counselor to be able to take our program. Now, if for any reason that you do not have a 3.0 GPA, and like I said, you talk to your, your, uh, your counselor, um, definitely, like I said, that's, that's something that, like I said, your counselor would notify us, let us know that she feels that you actually have the ability to be able to do the coursework. And then, like I said, we'll be able to go ahead and get you approval for, for that, okay? And then once from, once we receive that verification list from your counselor, we'll be able to get your application approved. Be able, uh, like I said, you'll be able to register for your classes. And then in regards to far as, like I said, paying for your program or, or paying to go or, or the cost of our early college program. So there's a variety of far as different opportunities that we have here at Southern. So if you are part of one of our partner schools, part uh, partner with our early college program, there is an opportunity for you to actually be able to actually like, have a, a, a full waiver applied to your far as your program, uh, to your course. So for example, if you're taking a class in the fall, you can take up to two classes in the fall, two classes in the spring. Um, if, if you are eligible for a full waiver, then like I said, you just, like I said, uh, there's no cost associated so far as you participating in our early college program. Um, but if you are only, if you are actually paying for lunch, uh, you're not eligible for a free, free or reduced lunch, then you'll receive a partial waiver, which that partial waiver will be applied. And then you'll owe us either $65 per class, I mean, per semester anyway, either for the fall or spring, and then be $55 per session uh, for either winter or summer session. Okay, you could take one class, during the winter or, or summer, um, you can take two classes during the fall and spring. So in essence, sometimes, like I said, students are able to take about, about five classes per year if you are doing like your junior and uh, uh, junior and senior year. And but there are some times that we actually do have some students that are enrolling maybe like as a sophomore based on the recommendation of their counselor. All right. 
And then in terms of far as uh, one of our specialty programs that we have here at Southern, uh, we actually have our early college um, SC, uh, nursing and cellular pathway program that we actually just established here within the last year, which is a phenomenal opportunity for students that are looking to go into the field of as far as like nursing. Uh, so students got to have to be able, they can be able to take up to about 24 or 30 credits, uh, which is a great opportunity for the bills that actually like possibly get completed their first year of the program. And then they actually be able to, like I said, that credit will go towards your degree. And you actually have the ability to be able to complete your bachelor's degree in nursing in three years, which is a phenomenal opportunity to be able to help you, like I said, help you get started right away as far as your career. Okay. You do have to maintain at least a 3.0 GPA on your college level courses. Um, so in terms of far, like I said, with our partnership that we have here and some, give you guys an idea, some of our like courses that you could possibly take, we encourage you to take your prerequisite courses. So ranging from like psychology, chemistry, to statistics and English and things of that sort. So just to kind of give you guys an idea, but we do have, like I said, there's about seven, there's about 11 prereq courses that students do need complete for as a nursing program. And like I said, through our program here at Southern, uh, like I said, working with our advising our staff, we'll help you guys kind of be able to navigate that. All right. And then, all right, I'm gonna actually pass it on to my to my um, to my peer. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, that was a great uh, presentation. So this is uh, Dr. Olja Yavuz. I'm the Southern uh, Early College uh, Faculty Coordinator. So, sir, did a great job to talk about the benefit of early college for students. And when we do the site visitation, we realize school principals, school leaders, the counselors, the teachers, there's a huge demand from the uh, high schools. So what are the benefits of early college program for high schools? Why they are uh, trying to uh, expand their early college program? Why they wanna create the partnership with the colleges? So there are eight main reasons the high schools promote the early college. So number one, so we live in the age of accountability. So all the high school, they are responsible, they're accountable to create the college readiness for all. And as a part of uh, state accountability report cards, when they offer the early college, they get a big check, green light uh, from the state. So as a part of the their um, accountability report, offering the early college uh, programs, the big plus for the uh, high schools. And also based on the uh, research, students, when they participate, early college programs, the high schools, they have a higher graduation. So it's not just getting the credit, but also help the uh, high school's uh, graduation rate. And the college access, right? We have a very diverse uh, student uh, backgrounds in the state uh, public school system. So we can consider offering the early college will increase the uh, college access rate. And also not just being the college access, so also they're being uh, college ready and stay in the college and graduate uh, from the college. So uh, based on the research and the, the findings, the early college program helps students high school graduation, help them become uh, college ready, and also not just get into college, stay in the college and graduate uh, from the college. So, and these are all the data. And uh, as a part of the high school accountability report, so when they get the uh, report from the clean cars from college board, so it is a, a powerful tool to help students not just being uh, college ready, also access, also stay and uh, graduate. And especially as a faculty coordinator, I work with the high school, uh, instructors, they we are so grateful. They have experience, they have a master degree, they are qualified to teach uh, college level courses. And this is win-win. We build an ongoing communication uh, network. So they learn and collaborate uh, with the uh, Southern departments. And uh, thanks to uh, this partnership, they participate ongoing professional development. So as a part of the network, so this is the uh, program, the uh, high school instructors, department chairs, they build a close communication connection with the uh, departments so they can uh, use the resources for, they can come to a uh, Southern, utilize all the Southern uh, online tools, the library, the facilities. So this is win-win and uh, we are not uh, requesting um, money uh, 
or any financial uh, investment uh, for the curriculum development. So departments, they provide the uh, Southern uh, curriculum uh, syllabus. And uh, in this case, uh, the high schools, they are uh, saving uh, money and also improve the uh, their curriculum. So AP, they are very restricted, uh, but the, for, when we look for the early college courses, they are very rich, very diverse, very comprehensive. So uh, in addition to SIR, there are great benefit for the students. Students, they save money, they save time, they explore the colleges, the, uh, it looks good on the transcripts, so it helps their uh, college application, it helps for their uh, grant application. And, but on the other side, uh, there's a huge demand from the school side, from leadership side, from teacher uh, counselors. They are uh, exploring partnership with the uh, colleges uh, because the benefit of early college, not just for students, it is for the teachers, counselors, and uh, school leaders. Thank you, sir. Back to you. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, so that kind of concludes as far as um, our presentation that we have this this at this evening. Um, but we just want to encourage you guys, let you guys know, like I said, early college is definitely a great opportunity. Um, we do have a variety of our partnerships through a lot of the school districts here in the state of Connecticut. For any reason that we do not have a partnership with you, feel free to reach out to us. Like I said, we definitely will to look into far, figuring out far as how we be able to uh, establish one with you guys, uh, and they'll help you guys move forward from there. But we are definitely um, available to assist you guys with any questions or help with as far as navigating as far as this, like I said, our early college program. Thank you both so much. Uh, we have a few questions if you're ready to answer some. All righty, let's do it. All right, our first question. Um, so some of these- Just stop sharing, uh, sir, so yeah. we can, <laughs> <laughs> they can see us. Right? We can yes. stop yeah. Thank Here you. we go, perfect. Uh, so a few of these questions are from social media, which means that they might be things that you've already touched on, uh, but we're going to go ahead and ask them anyways. To, I feel repetition is always better uh, in these cases. So first question, uh, do I need to fill out the FAFSA to attend early college? Uh, no, you do not, uh, which is, like I said, which is also a, a great thing for students, because like I said, one, one less hurdle, one less barrier that you have to actually kind of overcome. Um, so you do not need to complete the FAFSA. Um, with our with our program, when like I said, when it comes to far as cost and paying for our program, as long as you're one of our partner schools, uh, like I said, you definitely either you either receive a full waiver or a partial waiver, and that partial waiver uh, will be either sixty five dollars per uh, semester, whether it's the fall or spring, or like I said, fifty five dollars um, per session for the, either like I said the winter or summer session. Thank you. Uh, and so I think the uh, just to add, uh, sir, we consider. Early college is a social uh, justice advocacy for the mm -hmm. college access. So many students, they don't have uh, enough resources uh, to take the AP or uh, college courses. But with this early college program, we ask the school, do you have um, free reduced lunch? If a student qualifies for free reduced lunch, 100% free, there is no tuition. Everything is the registration, the tuition, it is 100% free. Like students, if they're in free reduced lunch, we acknowledge their challenge and uh, they have uh, full access with uh, zero uh, payment uh, and uh, benefit uh, to take for uh, 10 uh, college uh, courses. Yeah, and, and just to add to that, there's no application fee in terms of far as applying to our early college program either. Awesome, thank you. Um, we got another question that's tuition break related, uh, so I'll answer that one quickly, which is, does tuition break cover early college? Uh, unfortunately, not this time, uh, although, as we just heard, many early college programs are free or low cost, um, but tuition break does apply to, I believe, all bachelor programs at Southern, so uh, close, not quite early college yet, we're working <laughs> on it. Yes, absolutely. We we'll love to be able to expand this program outside the state of Connecticut into all, all the districts. Um, but like I said, that's something that, like I said, in terms of far just a capacity standpoint, things that we're like I said, we just try to make sure we we're offering a great product here for, for like I said, for this, the districts that we are currently serving, and then be able to could just continue to expand that. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. All right, our next question is: What should I look for in an early college program? That's a great question. Um, when I uh, when I actually came into this role into as early college, 
Uh, it was one of those things where I, I, I was, I tried to put myself in the like the students' shoes or the parents' shoes and just try to figure out as far as what's the best opportunity because a lot of schools, a lot of institutions are offering these this opportunity for high school students to be able to take advantage of and take get some college credits while they're still in high school. Um, so some of the things I would definitely encourage students to look into is one, the institution that you'll be you'll actually be taking these courses at. Um, and having an understanding as far as what the program is, what opportunity they offer, what services they offer, uh, what access did you have, you have, you have to, and things of that sort. So, for example, here at Southern, you're considered a Southern student. Um, so you get a, you get a student ID, you get an ID card, uh, you you able to take a full advantage as far as like everything that we have. You can attend football games, basketball games, any of our sporting events. Um, any of our, our events that we have going here on campus, you are you, you definitely receive far as all our emailing that we have going on as far as it, from an institution standpoint. Um, and like so you have like so you have complete access to our program. So you have you have access to tutoring services, our academic resource services that we have here, counseling services. So anything that our current students are receiving that are living either living on campus or community to our, our university, they have access to. So like as I mentioned, they are considered actual a student. So those are some of the things I would definitely say to for our students should look into as well as parents when they actually are taking these courses at like I say these some of these other institutions um, and to be able to be kind of like to be mindful for what these opportunities are. Yep. Yep. I think great uh, points. And this is not a just three credits, one course, not just a piece of the transcripts or mm -hmm. it is all about the full ex uh, exposure. So we encourage them focus on the, not just taking the A, but uh, check your emails and explore the, all the arts, uh, sports, uh, all the cultural events and see the big uh, picture, the experience uh, part. And also, uh, we recommend not just take the random courses, look at explore the pathways and talk to the uh, departments, they look at their uh, programs. So create a meaningful uh, track, the pathways that will help their long-term uh, career uh, development. So check, taking the random courses, talk with the advisor and uh, make sure you have the build the portfolio and it will help and short term long term your career plan so the pathways i think are very powerful and you can when you take 10 courses so you can have the uh, prerequisites for the uh, many uh, courses that sounds like an excellent opportunity thank you um, our next question which you touched on briefly and i would give you a chance to expand if you're interested uh, but the question is, what grade should I start thinking about early college? Uh, that's a great question. That's something that kind of goes back and forth. And um, some some conversations that we have, like I said, within our office, if it was up to me, I'll have students as early as like eighth grade thinking about far like college. <laughs> so like, a lot of times students, they, they don't start thinking about college to maybe like their junior or senior year. Like, OK, like it's time to start thinking about it now. But as early as possible, if, if, it is, if it's possible for students to be able to start thinking about as far as this, the college lens and being college prepared and college ready. Um, I would say I would start as early as eighth grade, but especially like I said, but in our program here at Southern, we will make sure as far as our students are capable as far as being able to do the work and do college work. So at least having some type of like strong foundation. So I would say probably around that after that, their soft freshman year as far as high school, having, like said, having an understanding as far as one, what they want as far as doing college, uh, too far, like I said, making sure as far as the coursework that they're able to do as far as that they can handle the course load and, and the requirement as far as being able to do college level work and working far with their counselors to be able to make for sure they're able to do that. Um, so because I would say probably about early, like maybe like your sophomore year or so, you can probably, like I said, be able to take some, some college courses and be able to start diving as far as in that room and kind of get a feel for what, what to expect as a college student what, what, uh, and get yourself college prepared and college ready. Yeah, I, in addition, uh, uh, the points uh, that uh, Sir uh, mentioned, we value for the partnership. So we consult, collaborate with the uh, high school counselors. We request for the eligibility list. So currently, the juniors, seniors are encouraged to take, but uh, there are many uh, factors. Uh, like we request for three point GPA, but students with the COVID, they have the significant loss, the health issues, students have like a 2.9 or 2.8. Like we will not reject these students. Like if the school uh, counselor advocate for the students, put on the eligible list. So we um, go with the uh, recommendation to the uh, school. So I think um, 
each we do case by case, uh, school by uh, school. So as long as the school advocate for the students, so we have the three point GPA, but uh, again, everyone has, we have very difficult times to, uh, after the uh, COVID. It might be health issues, family issues, the financial issues uh, with immigration uh, issues. So uh, we are uh, very sensitive to be uh, equal access to everyone. We look for it case by case. If there's an AP, look, I don't have a three point GPA, but uh, because of uh, this uh, personal uh, issue, and we can uh, work on work with the school, work with the counselor, work with the uh, student. But at the end, um, it's a combination of all uh, different uh, factors being ready. And this is challenge. Like uh, in the high school le uh, level, they have the business schedule and taking the uh, rigorous uh, college course. So they have to mentally, uh, academically uh, ready. So, uh, but at the end, uh, the, when we have collaborate, collaboration and co uh, consultation with the counselors, it's very helpful uh, uh, for us because we don't know the students, uh, the counselors, they know the students, they, they know the parents and, uh, and, and any student, they need a, a, a support. Uh, they provide the support in their school. Also, we have the support services uh, at uh, college too. Would you mind telling me a little bit more about the support services you offer? Say that again? Is it support we services? Yes, please. Okay, yeah. So some of the support services that we offer, we have, like I said, we have our academic success center where students are able to get tutoring services that they needed, whether it's by subject matter or for, like I said, the, for the particular course uh, that they're taking. Uh, but we also do encourage our students, most importantly, build that relationship far with your professor. Um, talk with them, work with them. Because uh, like I said, in terms of far as the assignment that you have in task that you have at hand, like I said, they, probably, they can probably help you far as navigate that a little bit better than far as our tutors that we have there. Um, so we definitely encourage our students to actually build that relationship far as with their professors. But like I said, we have our tutoring services that we offer. We have career, career and professional development opportunities available for students as far as like job opportunities, internships, resume building, different things of that sort, uh, working on far, they have various different workshops like uh, working on interviewing skills and things of that sort that can be able to take advantage of. So I know some of our students, as, as um, like I said, as we mentioned earlier, they have some challenges that they overcome, whether it's like I said, helping out far as paying bills at home and trying to figure out far as how to be able to make money for themselves. So uh, helping them far as like be able to actually get a job as early as 16, 17 years old and be able to, like I said, be able to work on far as having, creating some type of balance for themselves and things of that sort. So we have these different type of things they can be able to take advantage of. There's always some type of far as different workshops and events that we offer and encourage our students to come to. So we have counseling services that we offer. So if students are having some type of far as like mental health issue, things are going on, concerns, uh, things that are bothering them, they, things that they're that they're uh, decompressing and things of that sort. They, they try to figure out how to far as navigate and, and, and don't have really no one to talk to. They can be able to utilize as far as those different services that we have there. Uh, we have, like I said, we have our, our classes department where, like I said, they, they do a lot of different things for students to help you guys like just understand as far as what opportunities you have and just be, like I said, just be there for you and give you a place to be able to, just, like I said, be yourself and things like that. So we, there's a variety of our other services that we offer here. Here at Southern, uh, which is a wide range of opportunity for students to be actually just be who they are, be themselves, uh, and be comfortable as far as who they are. And like I said, be able to actually have an outlet to be able to talk to people about far, like I said, the different things that they're experiencing and going through. Uh, and technically, if they are uh, taking the uh, Southern Early College course at Southern campus, they're technically a Southern student. So they have a full access for the all academic uh, counseling, tutoring uh, services. And uh, especially, I, li I like the program for the mentor for the midterm results. So all instruct they have to report the midterm. And any student, they have a low uh, midterm, we flag them and uh, they uh, called for the mentoring uh, advising. So I think this is having this uh, checkpoint students, uh, sometimes they uh, face the challenges. And if we identify them early, look, uh, now how can we help you? How can we uh, support you there? These are the support services, the office hours, uh, lab hours, uh, and we are the very strong uh, center uh, for the academic advising and tutoring and uh, our job to advise them, guide them to utilize the Southern uh, resources. 
Uh, this conversation is making me think about the uh, many first generation students that we work with. And I'm wondering if this early college program would be good for first generation students. Absolutely, absolutely. We actually have a program here, it's called University Access Program, uh, which oversee our first generation students um, and helping them for just kind of navigate far as the landscape. I was the first in my family to go to college. So uh, like I said, I actually went here to Southern. So definitely uh, something that I said, a service that I took full advantage of. They host a variety of different programs, workshops, uh, they actually contact students as soon as they become a student there at the university. They also oversee our, um, our summer education opportunity program that we host during the summer for students that are like, it's, it's like a nice bridge program, helping students be able to like, say, uh, come to Southern and, and like say, earn college credit and be able to just continue to build their confidence going into college and things of that sort. So, um, but in terms of far as like I said, working with first gen students, definitely um, uh, uh, we have a variety of far as different things that we're doing here at Southern to so make sure like I said, our students are like I said, comfortable. They know where to go, what, what they have access to, and just like I said, be able to be themselves. Thank you. Um, our last question, I believe, is about transferring early college credits. We have a student who wrote in interested in early college and also interested in leaving New England for school. So they're wondering <laughs> how they can get those uh, credits to transfer. So that's that's a great question, which is a question I do get often in regards as far as that, because some students feel like, oh, if I take the early college course at at this school, that means I have to go to that school or, or I'm committing to that particular school or program. Uh, and in essence, you're actually not, especially here at Southern, you're not obligated to actually in, uh, to enroll. Of course, we would love for you to be, be a student here at Southern. Um, but you can definitely you know, take these courses with you to any other institution that you choose to. Um, but I definitely want to tell students be mindful in regards as far as the transfer policy at that particular school. So not every single school will accept for certain credits. And you, sometimes you have to have like a certain GPA or have to be a certain class that you take and things of that sort. So you definitely want to be kind of like you said, be mindful in regards to that. So if you do have a school in mind that you are thinking about as far as attending after you graduate from high school and you're going to take a class and say at your local community college or here at Southern, you definitely want to be able to make sure as far as that the syllabus matches up in terms of far as the description that from at that particular school. So it can be able to be, um, let's say, you're able to transfer that course over seamlessly. And then also, like I said, some schools have like a GPA requirement, I mean, not a GPA, but a grade requirement. So for example, like here at Southern, you have to have like about a C or better for that course to be transferred into our, our institution. So mm -hmm. you want to be able to, like I said, kind of be mindful in regards to that far as that at the school that you're thinking about far as transferring to. But the courses are absolutely transferable to any other institution uh, of your choosing. Um, but I said, as I mentioned to you earlier, we love for you to be able to be a student here at Southern. So whatever we gotta do to go make sure we get able to help you, like I said, go from an early college student to actually enroll a fully matriculated student here at Southern, we, we wanna be able to try to do that. <laughs> Well, you stayed and came back, and that seems like a, as good as any reason to believe Absolutely. that you're telling the truth. Um, here, it's great. Um, okay, we don't have any other questions submitted, but I did want to open the floor and see if there's anything that either of you would like to add before I start wrapping up. Um, I think we kind of touched on pretty much almost everything uh, from, from our side. Um, I just want to put out as a reminder, May 1st is our summer application that uh, will open up for our summer session that we have here. Uh, so students are able to take about, like I said, about one course for, uh, during the summer session. Uh, like I said, you can take two in the fall, two in the spring. Uh, so we definitely are encouraging students to, like I said, like I said, look into our program, our opportunities that we have here. At any point in time, you guys have questions, concerns, feel free to contact us directly. Um, like I said, we're definitely glad you help you guys as far as like navigate as far as this landscape of early college and answer any questions you might have. Thank you. I am also going to throw your link in the chat here if they want to pop over. There you go. <laughs> so again, uh, we say uh, thank you so much for inviting us and giving us opportunity to share our uh, program and experience with the uh, Southern uh, Early College. So again, um, if you just uh, recap early college, uh, it's not just getting the transcript. It's not just about, uh, about the uh, three credits. We encourage all the high school uh, seniors, uh, juniors, uh, explore the uh, full uh, 
college life and be active on campus. Check your uh, sudden emails and uh, visit the campus, participate the events and observe, create the network, visit the departments, talk with the seniors, college juniors, uh, ask recommendation. And uh, we hope uh, it will be have a holistic uh, approach there a long-term uh, college and uh, career uh, plan. So once again, thank you for inviting us. Yes, of course. Uh, I am struck at the end of every one of these educational sessions I do of how much I wish I had known this information when I was applying to college when I was in high school. So we are very grateful to have you. A huge thank you to both of you for joining us, talking about early college, educating us a little bit about Southern. Uh, we're always so thankful for your support and expertise. Um, I am going to also put in, oh, I see that uh, Sir put in his contact information. I'm going to throw Tuition Breaks link in there if you want to take a look, but you can find me on that website to contact if you have any questions in particular. Uh, additionally, you can watch any of our previously recorded educational sessions on the College Opportunity and Exploration platform, which many of you are probably coming from, as well as the uh, New England Board of Higher Education NEBI YouTube page. Uh, so thank you so much for your time, and we uh, hope to hear from you all again soon. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Alrighty. <laughs>